Warren Show's Houston Art Car Parade began in 1988 as a small gathering of just 40 artists and just 2,000 spectators. The next year, the parade brought out tens of thousands of spectators, and it's been growing every year since. Yeah, this is a huge event in Houston. This weekend, the 37th annual Houston Art Car Festival and Parade will showcase more than 250 mobile masterpieces from really around the entire country. Lauren Kelly is giving us a preview of what we can see at this weekend's big event. LK, it's that time. I'm it is going to be a huge event, Derek and Tessa, and we've got a lot to talk about because coming up this weekend, it's not just one day of fun for the Art Car Parade. It's an entire weekend full of events leading up to the parade that happens on Saturday. Peeker Sean with the Orange Show. For people who have not been to the Art Car Parade before, why don't you kind of describe to them what kind of fun they can have out there? It is the funnest day you can have in Houston. It's going to be incredible. You can expect to see over 250 decorated cars. Some of these are painted cars. Some of these are cars with cotton balls glued all over them. Some of these are cars that have been cut up and they barely even resemble cars anymore. Uh, we're going to have about a quarter of a million people on the streets of Houston for this amazing free event. That, it's always free. We have to keep that in mind. 2 p.m. start time. Where does the parade actually start? Uh, starts on Allen Parkway. Okay. Actually, what people should do is come for the lineup at the beginning because okay. that way you can filter through the cars, you can meet the drivers, you can get a really close up view of the details, and then these cars are going to take off, do a loop around City Hall Park, and then they're off. Hey, what I do love about some of these cars, I mean, you see cars with attachments like this big bird on top. Yeah. These vehicles have to be able to drive, right? They are drive. They're not being pushed like a, or pulled like parade style. Uh, very rarely. We've had a couple of breakdowns <laughs> once in a while. Uh, a lot of these are daily drivers. Some of these are cars where people are putting on some of the appendages right before they go. Okay. Uh, you know, the main thing about an art car is it really just has to make it through the parade. Absolutely. It can only go like one to two miles an hour. That's okay if it goes slow. That's what slow, low, and banging. That's what yeah. we like, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and okay. slabs too. Ab absolutely. We love those slabs here in Houston. Okay, Brock Wagner, you are the Grand Marshal this weekend. Have you practiced? How do you how do you get into a position like that with St. Arnold's? We, we love some of your beverages. We love that you have a car in. How did you land this role? Uh, you give people a lot of free beer. I find that that's the best way to make friends. So we've been doing that now with Art Car Artists for 30 years since the brewery began. And we've been rolling in the parade for now almost 25 years. Yeah, Art our, our car, uh, our Cars are, are an addiction for sure. And this is my favorite event of the year. I always look forward to it. And so I'm just very honored to be the Grand Marshal this year. And I just need advice on how to wave. Oh, how do we? I'll, I'll show you. Which it's one? the beauty pageant wave. Okay. It's wrist, wrist, elbow, elbow, okay. kiss. Just practice that, okay? All right. <laughs> I'm not sure about that kiss part. Ah, but <laughs> You can leave it or take it. Uh, but do you guys only have one car in the parade this year? So I actually need to look. That's a good okay. question. Okay. You, normally, because our salespeople sometimes drive our cars okay. also. Um, but as far as I know, so we have the one that Robin Sanders painted several years ago for us. That'll be the one that okay. I'll be riding in the back end. I'm usually driving this one, so it'll be a little bit of a different perspective sitting yeah, in the back. you can walk out and have an adult beverage while you walk, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> the benefit of not driving I think it. we're not supposed to do that during the parade oh, officially. Oh, so, oops. So, <laughs> so if I am, nobody will know. <laughs> Unofficially, that's for sure. All right, one more time. Yeah. So for people who want more information on just the entire week, weekend's lineup of events, where can they go to get more info? www.orangeshow.org. Okay, okay. And you said 250 cards. I know it's hard because it's kind of like picking out your favorite kids, but do you have a favorite this year? Well, speaking of kids, uh, we have done all these uh, art cars in schools with HISD kids, and the ones that the classes make Aww. are always the funnest, best art I know cars. that we're looking right now at the Great Wolf Lodge. We actually saw the guys at Root Lab putting this together. This is an incredible piece. Yeah, it's uh, like a vortex of uh, planks and wood, and this is the first time I'm seeing it, but uh, it's incredible. I love the inner tube on the back, and it makes me want to just slide yeah, down into the water. water. Slide on there, right? <laughs> okay, one more question though: Who made the Beyonce looking uh, cowboy Carter car with the orange horse over there? Well, that's David Best's car. Not okay. only is he our artist in residence right now, but he's an acclaimed art car artist, and he and his wife Maggie drove that all the way from California. That's amazing. It or not. And guess what, you guys? We're going to talk with David coming up here in yep. just a bit. Brock, thank you so much for all the info. We can't wait to see you guys out there this weekend. More from the Orange Show about the Art Car Parade happening this weekend. Coming up in just a bit here in Houston Life.
Okay, it's good stuff. Uh, before I lived in Houston, I had never seen anything like this. You know, I've been here, this is going to be my fifth year. I've never been to the Art Card Parade. I think I, I think this is the weekend. Now's this your is chance. the weekend that it happens. Right before our crawfish fest. Absolutely. It's perfect. Okay, it's perfect. good stuff. Okay, we'll see you in just a bit. Welcome back to Houston Life. The Orange Show Center for Visionary Art, one of the largest nonprofit organizations in the country, is returning to host the 37th annual Houston Art Car Parade this weekend. Now, thousands of people will head downtown to watch over 250 cars with all kinds of artistic designs during a free parade. And Lauren Kelly has a preview of all of the fun this afternoon. Of course she does. Hey, Lauren, what's going on over there? Yes. Tessa, it almost looks like we're in a construction zone. That's kind of what's going on. I'm going to chat with the artist behind this temple, David Guest, here in just a second. But I want to run back over yep. with you, Pete, a few of the details about the Art Car Parade this weekend yeah. because it kicks off on Thursday. You guys got events happening all the way up until the parade, which is Saturday, right? Yeah, that's correct. we got a Main Street drag, uh, a mini parade goes out and visited, visits uh, kids in hospitals and schools and people who aren't going to be able to get to the parade. Okay. That's actually kind of a, one of the favorite parts of the weekend. Yeah. Uh, we got the legendary art car ball going to be happening right here where we're standing on Friday night. That's going to be a big old party. Uh, and then, of course, the parade on Saturday. And then we give awards here on Sunday. Here's a question, though, Pete. Is this lot big enough for all the cars that you want to bring in for the art car ball? Well, this is a pretty big lot. <laughs> is and there we a can, traffic we, jam with lots of art mobiles? Uh, it's fun to watch <laughs> them come in. It's like a parade arriving here, right, actually. Right, 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 really right. cool. Okay, so for more information, our viewers can go to get details on this entire weekend. Where can they go? Orangeshow.org. Okay, it's orange all there. Org. Sounds good. All right, let's talk with this artist right over here. David, you are from California, but you guys saw the orange horse mobile that we showed you in the tease. Just say, you drove that from California to Houston. Houston, correct? Sure. Yep. You say yeah. it like it was the easiest thing ever. It's normal, you know. Do you have to watch out for Houston potholes? No, Houston. I'm in California. We have really bad okay. potholes. Okay, no, okay, okay. This is like paradise out so here. So you have been a part of this parade for how long? I've been coming to Texas for 40 years. For 40 years. And you yeah. do different creations every single year. And behind us, you are creating a temple. Why don't uh -huh. you explain to our viewers what, what this is? Okay. Uh, we start back 20 years ago when a friend of mine was killed on a motorcycle. Okay. And we decided to go to Burning Man you know, about two weeks before he got killed. So when we arrived at Burning Man, we made something that became a tribute to a lost friend. Okay. So the next year, Burning Man asked me to come back and build the temple. Not being a Jew or a Catholic, I thought, what would I dedicate a temple to? Okay. Okay. I thought if you've had somebody that's taken their life, right, okay. you know how hard it is to close that. Absolutely. So I thought, all right, I wanted that person or you to feel honored by the loss of that person and not shame. So that year we built the temple and 500 people came and put names to people that they'd lost through suicide. Okay. And 10,000 people came and put names. So that it was, just kept growing kept and growing, growing and, and growing. growing. So the last one, there was probably 70,000 people at it. So this one is going to be making its debut at the Art Car Ball this yeah. weekend, correct? Yeah, that's right. And then it will be on display for people to come and see. Every Thursday for six months, I yeah. believe, yeah. and then they're going to burn it. The and then community. they're going to, and that is the symbolism of letting go. It can be, it can be two things, okay? If you have something really private and you want to protect it, mm -hmm. we'll put it in there and burn it and no one will ever get it. Okay. And if you've got something very painful that you want to forgive or forget, I can put it in there and burn it. Okay. I promise you it won't come back unless you bring it back. Okay. All right. Okay? Well, we, we so, just can't wait to see the finished product. How much more do they have left to, to build on this? Oh, just a couple more pieces of wood. Oh, okay. And then that's that's really that's it. it. Uh, you say it like it's nothing. I don't I'm believe you. you. <laughs> two, two years married. Yes. Yes. Two years married. Yes. She has two dogs. That's right. Good a lovely, memory. A lovely husband. And a lovely person to talk oh, to. Oh, thank you. It was a pleasure speaking with you, you David. Thank, thank you, you so much. Yeah. Pete, it was a pleasure speaking with you as well. Likewise. I know our entire city loves the Art Car Parade. It's going to be so much fun, the festival and all. And we wish you the best of weather this weekend, too. Uh, we appreciate that.
And you know what? Our co-host Tessa, she's never been to the parade before. So Tessa, this is a call out for you. You better make it a plan to get down here for the Can art I car sneak for one us. Last but thing in yes, here? yes. I've already sent the appropriate text. The nature of the art car community is that it's not for sale. Right. Okay. Right. There's art out there that costs fifty million dollars. Right. And there's people living in blue tarps. Right. And the people that drive the cars are making that art for those people yes. in blue tarps. Thank you for giving them that notification, for sure. We love it. David right there, artist here. Tessa, again, you got to make it out one of these signs. It's going to be amazing. And lots of art, lots of mobile masterpieces coming up this weekend. Absolutely. Lauren Kelly, thank you so much. So that.